calculating um, division. Now, this line here doesn't mean the conjugate. It means we're dividing. These are fractions. We're dividing these. I do have marked up here what a conjugate is, and the reason for that is the way that we simplify um, or divide is we multiply by the conjugate of our denominator. So remember the conjugate of a complex number, what you do is you change the sign in front of your imaginary part. So if you have a plus bi, you change it to a minus bi. And if you have a minus bi, you would change it to a plus bi to get the conjugate. And the reason, again, that we have that there is the way that we simplify in dividing these is we multiply by the conjugate of the denominator. Okay, so instead of negative 1 minus 4i, I'm multiplying by negative 1 plus 4i. And what that will do for me is it will make it so I have no, no imaginary in the denominator. There will be no i's left there when I'm done. The rule is whatever you do to the bottom of a fraction, you have to do the same to the top. Um, so we're going to multiply the top also by negative 1 plus 4i. I'm going to put parentheses here so that I remember that because there's two terms there I have to actually foil. Okay, so in the numerator, 1 times negative 1 is negative 1, and 1 times 4i is 4i. I take the 2i times everything, 2i times negative 1 is negative 2i, and 2i times 4i, 2 times 4 is 8, and i times i is i squared. Now we're going to have some simplification to do there. Okay. In the denominator, now we'll talk about what happens every time, but first, the first time I'm going to show you if you were to FOIL it out, it works still. Um, negative 1 times negative 1 is positive 1. Negative um, 1 times 4i is negative 4i. Now we do the 4i. Negative 4i times negative 1 is a positive 4i. And negative 4i times 4i is negative 16i squared. Now let's take a look at what happened here. Now up here, remember we talked about i squared is negative 1. So anytime you get an i squared, you can't leave it. You need to change it to negative 1. Okay, so this is actually negative 1, and 8 times negative 1 is negative 8. So in the numerator, I have negative 1 plus 4i minus 2i minus 8. Okay, and that's our i squared was negative 1. We multiplied that by our positive 8. In the denominator, we have an i squared here also. Remember, that is negative 1. So here, negative 16 times negative 1 is a positive 16. Notice in the middle, these i's, remember the reason we did that was to get rid of i's, and here is how they that happens. In the middle, because we multiplied by the conjugate, we're going to get something in this middle here. The i's will cancel. We had one negative 4i and a positive 4i, which was 0 i's. And here, the i squared, we can't leave i squared. We replace it with a negative 1, which is what it's equivalent to, and simplify. So in the denominator, I actually have 1, and then negative 16 times my negative 1 was plus 16. Okay, let's keep going. Let's simplify. So in the numerator, I had negative 1 minus 8 is negative 9. Negative 1 and negative 8 is negative 9. And 4i minus 2i is 2i. In the denominator, 1 plus 16 is 17. I'm almost there. I'm going to separate into the real and imaginary parts so that this looks like my complex numbers. So you, you can split a fraction over the numerator. Okay, so this is the same as negative 9 seventeenths plus 2 seventeenths i. Okay, so notice I just split. And that's okay to do over the numerator. You can't split a denominator that way, but you can with a numerator. And here is my simplified answer. Okay, now every time we do one of these, we multiply by the conjugate of the denominator. So when we come to this one, we would multiply by 2 minus 2i. That's the conjugate of our denominator, 2 plus 2i. Now, as kind of a shortcut for the denominator, the same thing will happen every time. Notice here, the middle, when you FOIL, will cancel your i's. Um, on the end, you'll get a negative i squared, which will change to a positive like it did here. And so what happens is in the denominator, what you end up with is this first number squared plus the second number 
squared. That happens every time. You can go ahead and multiply that out and check, but it would give us 4 minus 4i plus 4i, which would cancel, and then minus 4i squared. Okay, but remember i squared is negative 1, so that gives us a plus 4, so we get 4 plus 4. You can do the shortcut if that's okay, or you can go ahead and FOIL it out um, and just simplify. You'll get the same thing either way. I just wanted to show you that option. Okay, but as we are simplifying this or calculating this, we need to go ahead and multiply the top by the same thing. And this one we will FOIL out. Um, two, 3 times 2 is 6. 3 times negative 2i is negative 6i. Negative i times 2 is negative 2i. And negative i times negative 2i is a positive 2i squared. Again, we need to simplify this. i squared is the same as negative 1. So as I go down here, that gives me 6 minus 6i minus 2i. 2 times negative 1 gives me a negative 2 on the end. In the denominator, 2 squared is 4, plus 2 squared is 4. It's always plus in the middle. Okay. Here, 6 minus 2 is 4, and negative 6 minus 2 is negative 8 i's, and 4 plus 4 is 8. So I split this over my numerator, and I get 4 8 minus 8 over 8 i. 4 8 reduces to a half. 8 divided by 8 is just 1, so I have 1 half minus 1 i, or really 1 half minus i is the way we would probably write that more likely. All right, we have one last problem to practice on, 2, minus, 2 plus 3i over 2 minus 3i. Again, the routine is always to multiply by the conjugate of the denominator. So it was 2 minus 3i, we multiply by 2 plus 3i, do the, exactly the same number times the top. Okay, this one looks a little strange because we have conjugate over conjugate, but let's see how it works out. So in the bottom, you can use the shortcut where you come out with the first number squared, plus the second number squared. Okay, Just make sure when you square that second number, it's a negative number squared, it will come out positive. Or you can go ahead and FOIL it out and simplify. You should get the same thing either way. In the numerator, 2 times 2 is 4, and 2 times 3i is 6i. 3i times 2 is 6i. And 3i times 3i, 3 times 3 is 9, and i times i is i squared. All right, here we go. So if we're simplifying, remember i squared is negative 1. 9 times negative 1 gives me a negative 9 on the end there. So I have 4 plus 6i plus 6i minus 9. All over, 2 squared is 4, negative 3 squared. Negative 3 times negative 3 is 9. Okay, 4 minus 9 is negative 5 for my real parts, and 6i plus 6i is 12i. And in the denominator, 4 plus 9 is 13. Now we just have to split this into real and imaginary. That would give me negative 5 thirteenths plus 12 thirteenths, and we have our i. And there you have it.